गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ कम टू द टॉपिक दैट इज टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट लाइक सम टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वॉज बैच प्रोसेसिंग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड इन द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द टाइम शेयरिंग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम which means uh, or which works like the multitasking operating system hope these two types of operating system is clear to everyone so now come to the next uh, type of operating system that is uh, distributed operating system so distributed operating system and uh, here the word distributed means like shared something or spread out something so if we are talking about operating system that means you are sharing now what you are sharing so this will um, tell you about uh, like uh, how this distributed operating system will work basically a distributed operating system allows you uh, like uh, allows various autonomous uh, autonomous interconnected computers to communicate Uh, with each other using a shared communication network okay and uh, independent system possesses their own memory unit and cpu means each and every computer which are connected with this type of operating system will have its own memory unit and will have its own processor or central processing unit okay and uh, these all uh, like uh, computers or you can say all these all um, systems will connect with the help of one network but the one point is important that the connected computer system will be referred as loosely coupled systems or you can say the distributed systems then so this is basically the distributed operating system means what we can say we can say that um, like in short if i want to tell you that what do you mean by this distributed operating system then i can say that distributed operating system involves a collection of autonomous computer system autonomous computer system means which are having its own, own memory unit central processing means uh, everything is uh, its own but they are connected with different different computers okay so a distributed operating system involves a collection of autonomous computer system which are capable of communicating and cooperating with each other okay communicating and cooperating with each other means if you want to like uh, share uh, one file with other computer then you can do so within this connected uh, computer system or within this uh, operating system you can share the files you can access the files of another computer okay so it is possible only with the help of distributed operating system but in this case you have to use one kind of network so you can use um, like lan you can use wan okay means LAN, uh, local area network and wide area network any kind of network you can use the main important thing is with the help of connectivity with the help of loosely coupled system you are sharing like or you are communicating with each other okay now i think the concept of distributed operating system is clear to everyone so uh, these types of operating system is a recent advancement in the world of computer technology because if you are communicating with each other by connecting uh, with one kind of network then obviously this is one advancement in the technology and uh, these are uh, being widely accepted all over the world with a great pace because this is one uh, like advanced man or you, with the help of this you are getting benefits so that is why obviously it will be accepted or it is accepted in the whole computer system now uh, if we talk about some more uh, definitions or some more concepts about distributed operating system then uh, we can add some more um, concepts within it like uh, the major benefit of working with these types of operating system is that it is always possible that one user can access the files or software 
which are not actually present on his system this point i have told you that if you are connecting multiple computer system within one network then obviously you can access the files or softwares which are not actually present in your computer system so obviously that means you are getting benefit na, from this point of view but on some other system connected within this network remote access is enabled within the devices connected in the network so this is one of the advantage of this distributed operating system now uh, with the help of this picture you just uh, check like how the distributed operating system is working okay this is one computer system which is uh, having its own cpu which is having its own hard disk to store some data and having own, own memory space okay this is one another computer system uh, then different different computer systems are there which are connected uh, with the one operating system or uh, with the help of uh, lan or pan now you are communicating with each other okay so this is possible only with the technology that is distributed operating system okay i think this is clear to everyone so that means these systems are referred to as loosely coupled uh, computer systems because each processor has its own local memory and uh, processor to communicate with one another through various communication lines or you can say uh, through like telephone lines because you are using the internet with the help of telephone line also even though you can use the internet with the help of wifi devices also okay so the main point is that these are basically loosely coupled systems done now if we come uh, on the advantage part then what will be the advantages of this operating system that if different number of computer systems are connected with one another that means the failure of one will not affect the other network communication because all the systems all the computer systems are independent from each other so this is one advantage if one system fails then obviously it will not affect the another computer system or the working of another computer system okay done so this is one of the uh, important advantage which we are getting with the help of distributed operating system now the second advantage which we are getting is like electronic mail will increase the data exchange speed because if you want to communicate then obviously you can communicate with one another so electronic mail is increasing the data exchange speed then the next type of advantage is since resources are being shared because you are sharing the resources also no so uh, with the help of like sharing uh, the resources the computation is highly fast and durable okay so this is one of the another advantage now the load and the host load on the host computer will reduce because each and every computer system having its own resources that is why the load will be reduces from the host computer and uh, one more advantage is there in uh, distributed operating system that these systems are easily scalable as many of the systems can be easily added to the network means if you want to add one uh, computer system within the network then you can do so if you want to uh, like increase the range then it can be uh, like it can be uh, done in case of this distributed operating system Uh, so with the help of uh, like uh, distributed operating system delay in data processing will be reduces because multiple computers are there and obviously the uh, of the processing speed will be high in uh, these kind of operating system now come to the disadvantage part in case of disadvantage the main disadvantage of this operating system will be like failure of main network will stop the entire communication means if network will be failed then obviously it will stop the entire communication means you cannot communicate you cannot share any kind of file or resources with other computer system so network will be the main thing in case of this operating system 
and to establish the distributed system the language which are used are not well defined yet means like if you want to communicate with one another then obviously the things should be clear uh, within the uh, within the network like um, uh, how and uh, in what manner you have to communicate with one another so this will be one another advantage disadvantage and uh, these types of computer systems are not uh, readily available as they are very expensive means uh, the main disadvantage will be that the, these systems are very expensive not only that the underlying software is highly complex even though these are not understood well yet because each and every computer system uh, is like having its own resource that means you are not sharing the resources right? like you are not sharing the memory you are not sharing the uh, cpu that means you are having its own resources then that means the complete setup will take uh, like high cost obviously so it is very uh, high in cost so it, it is very expensive to set up uh, like the distributed operating system so this will be one of the main disadvantage of this type of operating system now if we talk about the examples of uh, distributed operating system then there are number of uh, distributed operating system i'll tell you the name of these uh, distributed operating system the first one is rx rx operating system dynex operating system solaris operating system osf slash one operating system which is unix compatible and there is one more uh, operating system uh, that is lotus so these all are some of the examples of uh, distributed operating system so what do you do you just learn um, it clearly and uh, you just note it down in your notebook hope this uh, distributed operating system is clear to everyone so thank you everyone thank you so much